The story is called Snake Oil. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am, especially on such a frightfully cold day, but I was walking past when I happened to see you get out your car earlier. Would you mind if I ask, is it a hip spur? I knew it! My mother, God rest her, she had the most dreadful hip spur you had ever seen, and every time winter set in, why, it ached so. It's the air pressure, you know. When it changes, all sorts of joints go out of whack. I see you know what I'm talking about. Lance, no, I don't think you're that old, but you do remind me a bit of my mother, God rest her. It's your eyes, I think. But listen to me babble on. I do apologize. Once I get started, it's so hard for me to stop. Anyways, my mother, she died come near ten years ago. Oh, that's nice of you to say, ma'am. No, really? Well, if you insist, sitting inside would be a bit warmer, and I wouldn't want to let all your hot air out into the woods. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yes, my mother, God rest her. When she was 83 years old, she developed a fleshy tumor in her calf and... Pardon? Oh, you're 83 years old now? What an amazing coincidence! Perhaps it was fate that drew us here today. Now, ma'am, I'm but an only child. Don't have no brothers, no sisters, and my father walked out on my mama when I was nearly seven years old. I didn't have no one but her, you see. And when that tumor started growing, she was in such agony, you wouldn't believe. Well, I see maybe you would. Anyways, I decided that I was going to be a doctor. But Lance, you can't start studying to be a doctor when you're 60 years old. They wouldn't let me. Said I needed to retire. Oh, they forced you to retire too? I ain't just like them. They tax you and then they kick you out. And then when you need help for your pain, they don't do nothing for you at all. They did the same thing to my poor mother. But I found something to help. See, even though they wouldn't let me be a real doctor, I was able to get into those labs that pharmaceutical companies got. Worked as a janitor, and I tell you, they have all kinds of things lying around in there, but they don't want to sell none of them, because you see, if they sold the pain relievers they got developed, you'd never feel normal pain again. And if you never felt normal pain, why you'd never buy anything from them ever again, you see? Lance, no, it ain't right. That's why I studied. My mama didn't raise no fool, you know. I looked at them chemical charts, and I watched how them technicians mixed them. I paid attention and I figured it out. So one day I get to work early in the morn and I snuck into the lab. There's no one around then, so I whip up a batch that I seen them working on. And wouldn't you know it, I got it right. I had to sneak it out of the lab because this is more valuable than gold, you know. More valuable than anything. It literally stops pain. You won't feel no more pain ever again. But don't just listen to me talk about it. Lands know when I seen you get out of your car, I knew that I had to let you try it. Uh, no ma'am, it won't cost you a pretty bad dime. I've got this little bottle here, and it's yours right now. Won't cost you anything. Give it a shot. What did I tell you? Is there any pain? Of course not. Why, well, I do believe you could dance all over the street if you wanted to lands. Uh, why, yes, ma'am, that is the perfect name for a Japanese milk potion. It's perfect. Uh, go ahead and keep that little bottle up for yourself if you want, but I've got a big bottle. It's five times bigger, in fact. And I'll let you have it for pennies on the dollar. Don't you think having your hips put pine go away is worth, say, $50? But ma'am, I wouldn't want to charge you that much for lands, no. Let's say I give you this here 20-ounce bottle for 20 bucks. That sound fair to you? Oh, you're too kind, ma'am. No, really. God bless you, ma'am. Don't get in too much trouble dancing around town now, you hear?